guys. So today we decided it's a Saturday. Um, we had our pasta evening last night and it was lovely. Uh, but we decided today we're going to get some Christmas stuff. We're going to try and do some Christmas shopping. Now on the list is uh, wrapping paper. We've been talking about kind of like what wrapping paper thing we're going to do. And um, we do have a few presents here already that are ready to wrap. And we want to kind of like get all the presents done early so that we're not like madly. We always madly wrap them like honestly Christmas Eve. I feel like it's the same thing everyone says every year. Every year. Let's get Christmas presents done early. Yeah. Next yeah. minute, it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> I know. You're rushing down to the local shopping centre to buy every single present. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're going to have a look at some Christmas presents, some wrapping paper, and then tonight, I think we're going to have Mexican night for dinner, which I'm always excited about. Yeah. Um, oh, in other news, I really, really want a Dyson Tower fan for our bedroom. Little Georgie with her Cushing's disease, um, she's not able to regulate her temperature very well and we're moving into the warmer months and I don't know, I just think she needs it. Am I using that as an excuse because I want it? <laughs> the tension, look at that weeping cherry. I feel like people use that and it's part of the reason people have kids and so, pets. So they have an excuse to build Lego castles. Yes. <laughs> I oh, don't we need, need an We need that for the kids. Oh, we need it. Oh, we need that for the dogs. Yeah. Well, I mean, medically, Georgie genuinely needs no, it to... Does. Her temperature needs to be maintained. Um, but I want one. And we're going to look at some extra Christmas decorations for the Christmas tree. Yes. One of the Christmas trees. Because it's just not finished yet. Oh, look at this fluffy dog. It's more. It's like a large pom. Georgie Pram. We can push like it. Her... <gasps> Baby, what are we going to get the poms for Christmas? Oh, the there's, bed. there's also a gift shop down the main street that looks like they've mm -hmm. got really, really nice Christmas stuff. Yeah, let's go and have a look at that. Okay. Maybe we can pick our um, Christmas crackers. Um, Big W's got really, really freaking cool Christmas crackers. I don't know. We're just going to have a little moment to ourselves again because that's our favorite thing to do. <laughs> it's funny. Oh my god. Hey, do you like these? These are rather beautiful. Yeah, they go on the one in the theatre. They would go on the one in the theatre. That is true. $15 though. I'm not seeing any Black Friday sales. I don't know how I feel about that. What are Bella 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 we need him. He's cute. How many do you want? He's so hot. Just one, I reckon. One? And do we want a Santa? Yeah. Look at his little yeah, skin. He's a bit got wonky glasses. Oh. Yeah. I think that's Santa after too many mulled wines. Oh, this one's a good one. Or after a hard night's work, giving everyone presents. <laughs> yeah, all that. <laughs> it's a little bit more positive than my option. What about? Oh, it's beauteous. It's also beauteous. Oh, I just, I love these little elves all of a sudden. This is our current haul, guys. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Look at these little boots. Oh, come on. It's not going to go well, is it? I think they've cleaned up. I think this is good. So, we're putting the decorations on this tree. I... I think I might be with you. I may share your opinion, Bub, that it not just enough not enough light. I don't think we're going to pull all the decorations. No, up. but we'll remember for next year. Yeah. So we've got our new decorations. Da -da -da -da. Brandon. Little booty. You get to do the honours. Oh, that's a great spot for a little booty. Little booty. Oh my God, they're so cute. They did did we more? Cute. Did we need more than two pairs? Maybe we needed three. Aww. Okay. They're both at this anyway. We'll... Bobble. Yep. Bobble, bobble, schmobble. Can I do one too? Yeah. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did just say, oh, you get the honors, but then I was like, I want to do some. I'm gonna put one bobble here. Bobble. Oh, good, good bobble spot. They're beautiful. Yeah, they are, are so nice. When I seen them, I was like, 
Yes, they're going on this Christmas tree. We've got to have them. Yeah, did you notice I've got all of our pine cones that we collected on here too? Yes. So good. Is it okay what if about I, our mini pine cones? Is it okay if I moved all these little booties? I just don't think they'll be appreciated for right there. everything that they are. The joy that they will bring us. Very Merry Christmas. I'm put them there. And a happy new year. I One am. of these needs to go high. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. What just happened? Oh, I hate it when that happens. Um, okay, so do you think, what do you think it needs? It just still seems a bit bare to me. Or are we vibing? I like it. It's, it's probably because it's the darkness. It's not really bright. Like the other ones have got lots of white, lots of yeah. bright colors on them. Oh my God, let's hang the, the little elf and the little Santa. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there's glitter everywhere. I'm living for it. And then after we're done this, we're making spast in Mexican for dinner. Okay, we've taken the tags off them all. I'll do Santa. This is just absolutely adorable. I'm sorry. Oh, also, these are all the decorations for the upstairs tree. I've got to take it upstairs. I'm going to change it. I bought um, some snow in a jug and I'm actually going to frost the tree upstairs. So I'm just waiting to be able to decorate it. I'm going to put my Mr. Santa. Is he too big for this tree? No. <laughs> Where are you going to put your Mr. Elf? Yeah. Well, I think he needs to be pushed in. Maybe he uh, actually doesn't hang. Yeah, maybe we do a shove. Oh, Mr. Elf. And he's going to be sitting there watching <clears throat> you. Santy goes up here. Here, baby. Yeah. Oops, I sat down, my bad. <laughs> He's gorge. We do need to straighten this tree up too. It's like leaning, it's on the left. Oh, that looks so good! It's weird, there's a head in the tree. I love it! <laughs> Hello. Hello there, mister. Welcome to the family. I think this tree is actually my favorite. Yeah? <laughs> it just looks so good, I love it. All right, Mexican night's coming in hot. I've just made the fresh salsa. So red onion, uh, cucumber, tomato, coriander, or I feel like half of the word calls it cilantro. Cilantro, cilantro? Cilantro? It's called coriander here in Australia. And I also charred some corn um, and then, oh, and fresh red chili. And then I've put salt, pepper, and a little of this white, white wine vinegar. Um, it's honestly delicious. It's perfect. So we're doing like traditional tacos with chicken and beef. Brandon, the little legend, oh, we just hung the stair garland too and it looks so cute. Um, he has done some... What would you call that? Sauteed vegetables and onions? Capsicum. It looks, they, it looks so are good. capsicum the same as bell peppers? Yeah, they call yeah. them bell peppers in America, in case you're confused. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'd refer. Mexican nut. Yes! And we're in the theatre because we're going to watch a movie. Um, okay, what, do I, what am I grabbing? Chili uh, the oil. Chili oil. I've cut up bird's eye chilies, so... Brandon seems to think that... They're going to be... They're going to burn my face off. I'm going to move this closer. Am I going to be cooked? <laughs> cooked. <laughs> um, right, so chili oil, do we need anything else? No, I don't think so. We're good? Yeah. Mmm, that chicken oh. tastes so good. I need my phone. Mm -mm -mm. I'll get it. Okay, I'm looking particularly stunning today. <laughs> um, yep. So cute. So, tinting the roots. Hennering the brows, and I've also somehow managed to paint my eyelashes with henna as well. Are they stinging? Yeah, borderline a little bit. Um, but I'm about to jump in the shower and actually rinse this out. Um, but I'm a DIY gal, guys. I don't know what else to tell you. It's far easier, it's much easier, and it's a lot more affordable as well to just do this stuff at home. Honestly, 
to go to the hairdressers to I mean obviously it's different like I've been going like ombre so we've been lightening the ends with caramel and stuff I would never do that at home but my roots like just to put a little bit of brown hair dye on my roots so much easier to do at home and my brows I basically handed them every three ish wigs to keep them nice and dark um, it's just a whole lot easier but I wanted to tell you guys um, I want to know if you've tried this who has heard of this hair treatment? So this is called the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. Now my hairdresser has been raving on and on and on about this for months. I remember her talking to me about it like months and months and months ago. She was like, Nakia, I'm going to drop some of this treatment off to you. You are going to love it. Um, apparently it's like game changing. It makes your hair super, super soft. I'll read you what it says. K18, and it's like a peptide sort of a treatment. K18 is not just a temporary fix. It's the first product to utilize biomimetics to reconnect keratin chains once broken by bleach color, chemical services, blah, 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 uh, resulting in soft, smooth, strong hair with bounce that feels like new. And apparently the more damaged your hair, the more dramatic the results. Now my hair is pretty dang healthy like I do. Oh. I'm a bit of a hair mask hoe. I love to do like minimum one one a week. Sometimes I'll do two a week. Um, and obviously I'm brunette, so it's handy. But um, I'm gonna use this now. Uh, you basically shampoo your hair, you rinse out the shampoo, and then you, what, one pump, two pumps? I guess it uh, depends on how thick and long your hair is, but you basically, you put it in, you let it sit for four minutes to activate and then you style your hair like usual. And it says use for the first four to six washes and then after that only every three to four washes as needed. I am very, very excited about this. I've messaged my hairdresser. This was sent to me in PR. Like this is the funny thing too. Like she's been going on and on and on and on about it. Um, and I, I've i got a list of things like on my phone, like things that I've needed needed to purchase and want to purchase and things like that. Um, It's on the list and I had not yet purchased it. And then it randomly showed up at my front door. And I was like, Erin! Look what's here! I'm so excited to try this! So yeah, I did text her and let her know that I was about to use it. Um, I'm gonna go jump in the shower, wash this hideousness off. <laughs> wash, I look beautiful, don't I? Love it. Um, and use this. Okay, update. Oh my god. So, I shampooed my hair. Um, it was <laughs> kind of extremely painful uh, to comb it because after, obviously, I mean, I dyed the roots, so naturally that sucks the moisture out of your hair. Uh, but combing my hair without any conditioner is quite difficult. But I managed to comb it and it felt like straw, like literal straw. I used, um, basically with the treatment, you do one pump at a time and you like gradually work it in your hair, like kind of absorbs it. My hair turned to silk, like literally in my hands, and it now feels incredibly soft. It is incredibly shiny. <gasps> Guys, my hairdresser wasn't lying. This stuff is good. I feel very excited about this. So I need to use this for the next five more shampoos and then update on final results. But as a first impressions, it is incredibly soft, like, stupid soft oh I feel excited now yay okay it's beautiful weather it's one of the first warm well close to 30 degree days that we've had in a long time so we decided we just finished work uh it's six o'clock but we decided let's go for a little adventure um we've got all the girls in the bag Brandon's driving we've got the barbecue packed we're gonna go have a little picnic somewhere yeah um I know, just to get out of the house Enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the nice weather while it lasts. What is the weather system called that's coming? La Nina? La Nina. La Nina. La Nina. Look, whatever it's called, essentially it means a really disappointing summer. I Wet. It's, it's already here. Raining. This means a, a wetter, lot, cooler summer. A lot of rain and a lot of cold days. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm excited. I love the sunshine. It was a busy day at work, so we Okay, we made it. <laughs> the water's yeah, really warm. Yeah. <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll probably go swimming. <laughs> oh, Annabelle's coming in too. <laughs> oh, we like the warm water. <laughs> love it. So, I'm setting up little picnic rug here. Oh, it's a 
there fish? Is there yeah, fish? Full of carp, oh, yuck, gross fish. Um, we've got the barbecue, so we're gonna cook up a little. Oh, I should, um, I'll fill up their little water bowl. Hey, guys, look at Emma. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's her whole face is wet. Hey, Emma, show me, darling. <laughs> Full on over her head into the water. Oh my god, that is so funny. Don't throw it in the water. I can't get it now. She needs a stick to fetch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this absolute face. <laughs> Brandon truly knows how to look after me. Mm -hmm. That is the I truth. Try. You do. I reckon the Poms will uh, get three quarters of one of those steaks. Ah, no. <laughs> Just eating these. Mm. Mm. That is tasty as a... Mm, has it got like chilli on it? No. Mm. Well, it has got some kind of marinade on Whatever it. Whatever it is, I like it. She's sticking her whole head in the water. <laughs> hey, yeah, my baby. The sunset's beautiful. It's all pink. <laughs> okay, we're going on another warehouse trip today. Oh, was it in your gym bag? No. Oh, we're trying to find Brandon's wallet. We can't find it anyway. Same old story. Yeah, same old story. Um, but yeah, we're going down to the warehouse and we've got to check some things and we're going to make sure everything's all G to G, um, just work stuff basically. But then afterwards, um, I think we're going to go to Chadston and do some Christmas shopping, which I'm really excited about. Um, I've got a list of things, like I've, I've pretty much got the list together of gifts that I want to buy for everyone, for all of our friends and family. I am wearing uh, one of those new dresses that I got too. It looks really, really pretty. Like, I feel like I'm wearing pyjamas. Um, I love that, of course. I've made a takeaway cup of tea. I've stolen Brandon's little, I don't know, travel tea mug because it's bigger. I needed a big boy this morning. I didn't want just, like, a little pissy cup of tea, so I've got a big one. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. That's pretty much what we're doing. Oh, imagine this whole time Brandon's wallet has been in my handbag. That would, that's going to be so funny if that's the case. Because I've been, like giving him hell. I've been like, hey, you've lost your wallet again. Imagine this whole time. I've got it. Crisis averted. I didn't have it. <laughs> How'd you go, Bob? Yeah, in my car. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe when we got home from the barbecue, maybe we took it and we didn't yeah. grab it out of the car. We'll have to make sure not to do that again. I just had a moment. I was like, what if it's in my other handbag and this whole time I've been like, Bing. <laughs> but I was off the hook, so we were good. So doors are locked. Um, my mum is coming around to um, check our babies and let them out during the day. It's actually going to be really nice warm weather. 33 degrees Celsius. I always have to say Celsius because people are always like, 33 degrees, like assuming that it's Fahrenheit. 33 degrees isn't hot in the I mean, it's not really that warm. It's like warmish, 33 degrees Celsius. Is that like 100 Fahrenheit? I don't know the conversion. Um, but yeah, we all good. We're ready to go. I've got a little pile of PR packages. Um, I'm not sure. I'm hoping potentially that Amazon box maybe is the snow that I ordered. I ordered like flocking for one of our Christmas trees. So it'll be all snowy white. So I'll be able to do that tomorrow if that's what it is. Um, but yes, we're good to go. We're good to go. We're G to G. All right. The warehousing component of today's festivities is blue. Um... Currently, our current, would you call it an existential crisis? I don't know. It probably isn't. I'm probably just being dramatic because of low blood sugar. But we're both hungry. And I was like to Brandon, I was like, oh, could we go past like a service station and get like a little protein bar? Um, but there's literally been none. So we are on our way to Chadston now. And we're going to get sushi for lunch. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to eat all of the tuna fish. Tuna? All of the salmon, tuna? the salmon the fish. Tuna. All of the. What else is there? Salmon. Yeah, I just said salmon fish. Kingfish. All of the kingfish. <laughs> and the tuna. And the tuna fish. 
Um, no, last time we went to Chesterwood a few weeks ago. And actually, when we were there, there wasn't as much Christmas stuff out yet. Mm. Hopes are that today it's all out. But when we were there last time, we had um, tuna and like sashimi and sushi and seaweed salad. And I don't know, it was just amazing. Okay, we got our sushi. I'm honestly so hungry. I'm at the hangry level now. Oh, is that that's octopus salad? Yes. Did I eat that with you last time? I think you had a bit, yeah. Shopping is done. We're at the cinemas again, and this is what we're done. I'll show you. What do you charge that? We snuck sugar-free ice creams into the cinemas because, hello, wedding skin. Here is a little looky at some loot. I can't show Christmas presents, but we did buy some Christmas presents for people. Obviously can't show because they may see this and I don't want to ruin the surprise. So there's that. Um, gift wrap. We did find some really nice stuff. So gold with Merry Christmas in like a script font and then like a natural brown um, with like gold like lines and then over here. Um, we're going to do green and then we're going to do red with oh, it's more like a maroon with like a gold Christmas tree. So that is our wrapping <laughs> situation. That's the gift wrap that we've chosen. So we also went to Bath and Body Works because guys, they had their Christmas collection and you know I'm a sucker for it. So we got a couple of Christmas hand soaps. Where is the last one? Three of them. Twisted Peppermint Winter, which kind of almost smells borderline like men's cologne kind of a thing. And Black Cherry Merlot. So we usually will fill up like the, the soap dispensers in the kitchen like with, um, you know, like Christmas soap and scents and stuff during the holiday season. And then we also got two more Christmas candles. I know you're thinking you don't need more Christmas candles, but, you know, the addiction is real. So it is what it is. <gasps> oh, Thank you, you so much, baby. Oh my god, this looks so good. Mm. Oh my god, that's delicious. It's a chai latte. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so we've got two more Christmas candles. I really like the packaging that they did this year, actually. It's so nice. So holiday. It's like beautiful red and gold tartan. I think I might light this one this morning, actually. Oh my god, it's so good. And then Brandon chose this one. I think they had a deal. It was like, I think it was two candles for $69 or something. So we got we picked one each. <laughs> Did that. Brandon chose marshmallow fireside, which is equally delicious. Oh yum. Which one would you like to light this morning? Holiday and Marshmallow Fireside. Oh, Marshmallow Fireside. Yeah? You want to light it? Oh, yeah. It smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> and we also went to Balenciaga. Now, I have had a voucher for the store for Balenciaga for like 12 months now. Um, so I finally got a couple of things with it. Oh, we got our Christmas gift tags as well. Look, little Santas, little reindeer. They're the only gift tags. I think they're the only gift tags that we got, aren't they? Yes. It should be. It should be enough. Um, we're going to do like gold and green and red ribbon, um, you know, with the gift wrapped as well. But I got a pair of uh, Balenciaga sunglasses. I will show you those. And I also got some pool slides, um, you know, just for summer. <laughs> so these ones here. These are just like little casual slides. Nothing too OTT. Sliding on into the weekend. That's it, baby. <laughs> okay. And this is what these look like. They're really nice, just casual. Um, I've wanted to pair, I did want a pair of Gucci ones. Um, or some Givenchy ones, but I really liked these ones. So I picked these up. We do still have a little bit left on the voucher as well. So I might get like a little coin purse or something. I'm not sure. These are the sunglasses. They're actually beautiful. And I put them on and Brandon was like, whoa, they are the nicest sunglasses I've ever seen on you. 
So that excited me. Um, but yeah, it's a, I've had this voucher for so long and I've not, like I always go back to the website and I'm never really too sure what to get. So it worked out perfectly that we went in and they had everything that I wanted. Um, yeah, and like I said, I'll spend the rest of the voucher um, another time. This smells so good, guys. Definitely recommend this one. And it's really pretty. Look, it's got like little presents and little Christmas stockings. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take this because we are working at the table. Whoa, don't drop it, Nikia. Oh, my God. We are working at the table. Um, and I want it nearby so I can enjoy it. Stunning. Look, here's some more Bath and Body Works Christmas candles. I think you guys will have seen it. Um, I mean, probably seen the collection when I unboxed all of the Christmas decorations. Oh, look, we've got an extra Christmas decoration today. Hello. <gasps> Hello, Miss Annabelle. Look at you. You're in a little forest of Christmas trees there. Okay, we're back at it again, testing ham glazes and ham recipes for Christmas. This weekend's concoction, Brandon is far. I feel like we spoke about it in another vlog. Like about the pineapple. Oh, yeah. we didn't get cherries. Oh, that's right. Um, so he's scored it, he's de-skinned it, and he's covered it in pineapple slices, and he's adding little cloves. Oh, the cloves do kind of work to hold them in. Yeah, some aren't, aren't as long as others. <laughs> like, that's a long one. I love what's happening here. I'm very excited. I'm just over here doing some work. This is my situation with a Christmas candle. Um, we're actually having some friends over for dinner tonight. Um, well, so yeah, we'll, friends. we'll be able to test this recipe on someone other than ourselves. Oh, have you already put the pineapple juice in? Some of it. Yeah. There's that noise again. Some kind of bug or sprinkle. Also, I don't know, there are some children next door and it sounds like they're making weird noises and it sounds like there's an exorcism going on. Like, be like... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It's just kids. <laughs> We're low key freaking out about it. But yeah, anyway, it's Friday night and this is what's going down. And we have our niece's our birthday party tomorrow, which we're excited about. Um, I think she's gonna love her birthday present. We've just found out that we may need to make a pass the parcel uh, last minute in the morning. So we'll see how that goes. Lazy daisy. Oh. <gasps> oh, we lost a couple of rings. Yeah, we These did. These look like little scarab beetles. <laughs> They do, they look cool though, don't they? They look awesome. Bob, that looks freaking amazing. So, I think pineapple's a go, I'll yeah, be honest. Yeah, look, it looks delicious. Yeah. It's good because they're like little wells. You can oh, put... it like holds the glaze on. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. You're clever. I like what you're putting there. Well, it was unintentional. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the win. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So, <laughs> um, I drive a tiny little car. It's actually an ongoing thing. I do need a new car. I've had this car for like 10 years. I'm not a car person. I just, I don't care. And I never drive it. So it's not something that I bother with. Um, anyway, this morning is our little niece's fourth birthday party. And we were originally going to drive Brandon's car because you see behind me, we have picked up this giant balloon towel with a big number, like a big purple number four on the top. And we were originally going to drive Brandon's car. Um, we got out to the car this morning though and realized that he had no fuel. Um, so we were like, okay, let's just jump in my car. Um, and then we've just gone down to pick up the balloons. And I kid you not, they only just fit. Like hardly, like maybe, maybe, maybe like this much. They hardly fit in the car. So it's quite funny. Um, Brandon's just, we've, we left something at home so he's just running to grab it um, but we're on our way out it is her birthday we're excited so we're doing like i think it's like pancakes for breakfast this morning and then is it pancakes for breakfast i think it is pancakes yes breakfast? um and then like a barbecue lunch um and we're just gonna spend the day look at how cool this is Dun, 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 dun. a mandalorian we need to play um, the theme music <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'll get it on my phone when we give it to him. <laughs> we'll do that. Oh, it's for our brother-in-law. Um, but yeah, we're on our way out. And it's a little baby's birthday. It's so cute. It's a monster. It's a monster cake. Yeah. Who made it? Mummy's friend made it. Shayla. Shayla made it. made it. Shayla, Does Shayla like actually decorate? She's also just opened up her birthday presents. <laughs> we gave her a heap of like super cute, like kitty kind of makeup because she's been asking for it forever. 
Um, and now she's like, no, can you please do my makeup? Brandon's having his makeup done. Show us with the, the artworks. <laughs> it's beautiful, baby. What's next, Bella? Look at this one. <laughs> Lipstick. You've got to open it first, Bella. I will. That's not going to end well. No. Pull it apart. Do you want, do you want Uncle Branky to help you, me, darling? Help? Oh, there, there we go. go. Spot on. Where are you going to put that? Is that lipstick? Does that go on my lips? Wow. That is beautiful. <laughs> Don't talk when mm -hmm. I put lipstick on. No, don't mm -hmm. talk. Now you just That's really nice. Right she just wanted to grab lipstick. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. We've really graduated to green eyeshadow, uh, purple lipstick, a pink chin. We've got Ooh. a little bit of blue sparkles on the forehead. And we're coming in with, I believe, it's like a, a Revlon uh, lip <laughs> balm. Do you want me to open this for you, sweetie? Yeah. Uh, hello. <laughs> yeah, he likes that. <laughs> it's the same look that I've got when you give me a back scratch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the absolute cutest thing this morning. So it is my niece's fourth birthday. She's officially four and I'm honestly like, I cannot believe that she's already four. It feels like she was born about two seconds ago, like it's actually crazy. So anyway, as part of her uh, birthday present, um, my sister is actually taking her to get like a spa treatment. So like a mani-pedi and uh, uh, she's getting like a little, I think it's like a scalp treatment or like a hair treatment and then she's gonna have her hair done and it is so cute. So I'm gonna gate crash this little date. Um, I'm gonna sneak down there. Um, I just, I wanna see it all go down. It just sounds so adorable. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and she's got like this little robe that she's, Ella just sent me a picture. Um, she's wearing like this little robe and she's drinking like herbal tea. Um, they're already down at the spa. So I'm gonna go get there now. Yeah. <laughs> that is a big step in here. So you've gotta watch this one. Take a big step up. Big step. Nice, <laughs> take a seat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, did Ash get you guys to play a client card at all? <laughs> Look at you. Special birthday girl. I should have booked in for a treatment. <laughs> we spray some of our pretty flower spray. Oh, does that smell nice? Oh. <laughs> Are you having the best time? Show me your little toenails. These are the chosen colours. Pink, red, more pink and more red. They look gorgeous. Lucky little birthday girl. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today is a very exciting day for a couple of reasons. Firstly, Brandon is actually down in the city and he's being fitted for his wedding suit. Oh! So he left uh, super early this morning. He's gone with his best man and one of his groomsmen. I mean, it's a bit tricky, obviously. It was a last minute appointment. Um, uh, it's a bit tricky because it's the middle of the week and obviously all of his groomsmen work. But his best man and one of them were available. So he's down there right now getting fitted for his suit. And I just feel really excited. I mean, I've spoken to you guys before about how I love it when... I don't know, Brandon's made feel special in, in relation to the wedding. I feel like it's always all about the bride and it's never about the groom. But for me, it's very much about Brandon too. So I'm really, really excited. So he's gone down there to do that. He's going to be back just in time because guess what tonight is? <laughs> da -da -da -da! It is the Golden Star Award night, guys. So now I'm not sure um, if you've been following me on Instagram for a while, you will have seen this go down on my Instagram stories. But the Golden Star Award happens every single year. It's very different to finding the golden egg at Easter, right? The Golden Star Award is the Christmas prize that we all compete for. So me and my two sisters and our partners. So it's between six of us all together. We all compete for the Golden Star. Not knowingly, it's not like a physical challenge in the same way that the Golden Egg is. And it's not like, you know, the person that finds the Golden Star wins. This is an award that is given to one of us and only one of us every year based on how, 
I always struggle to explain it. It's like it's like the person who has sort of done like the most good deeds and been the kindest or shown like the most resilience or whatever it is. Um, it's chosen by mum and Neville. <sighs> and we have like a, a presentation ceremony and the person that wins the golden star is awarded the honour. And it is the highest honour, the honour of placing the star on the Christmas tree at my mum's house. So we're all going around there for dinner tonight. Uh, we'll all have dinner and then we'll put the tree up together, decorate the tree together, and then the golden star award happens last. And it is awarded. And it's, it's very nerve wracking. And we've all been placing our bets on who we think's got it. I think my oldest sister's uh, partner is going to win it. I think he's going to get the pity vote this year because he's never actually won the Golden Star. My mum very much likes everybody to feel included. She's a total fan of like participation awards and things like that. So we're all thinking he's probably going to get it. But it's a pity star, so it doesn't even count. Look, we're very competitive, okay? I'm not going to lie. Um, but yes, that is tonight. So Brandon will be back just in time for that, for the honour, the highest honour. Um, and I can't wait to see photos. Um, so his wedding suit, he's having completely custom made from scratch. So he gets to choose like the lining, the material, the fit, the style, the collar. Um, he gets to choose everything. And I really love that for him as well. So it's all very, very exciting today. I'm going to bring you guys along for the Golden Star Award tonight. Do not worry. Um, I think Brandon deserves it. I don't think I deserve it. I think Brandon deserves it this year. Um, just because he's a beautiful human and he deserves it every year, but I think Matt's going to get it. So we'll see. <laughs> okay. Have to pull out the ugly Christmas sweaters for tonight's festivities. It is a tradition and, oh, we have a little friend. Hello, baby. <laughs> it is a tradition to arrive in your most festive get up, your most festive attire. So ugly Christmas sweater and I've also got some Christmas earrings and I'm going to put a Christmas bow in my hair because that is how we do it guys that is how we win the golden star right, we're going home. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all going down um, we've all got our little boxes of individual tree decorations to hang on the tree so we're doing this now and then in a very short time oh, I made I made Victoria cry. <laughs> She's still crying. <laughs> she asked for a Barbie decoration and I said there wasn't one and then she cried. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what did she mean, a fairy one? I don't know, I don't know what she meant. Um, but yeah, so we're soon to find out the winner. So it's all gone down. We're nervous. It's happening. So every year we get a decoration and a story of what it means and like why we get it. So what now we're all for? hanging well, <laughs> individual. Look at mine. This is so funny. You guys know how obsessed I am with the Emu Australia slippers. <laughs> Last year, my decoration was a slipper and it's <laughs> absolute best. Lots of sparkles because it's very me. Look. <laughs> so cute. I really like this too. This is a vibe. It's saying more and more and more and more stuff. It's happening. So I'm just going to cut to the chase here <gasps> and I'm going to say who the person is this year and then I'm going to explain why, okay? Okay. So okay. you can all get your uproarious thing going on. Who's ready to so, yell? I'm ready to yell! <laughs> the person that is going to win the Star Award this year is Brandon. <laughs> was an absolute outstanding win from Brandon and he's placed the star. <laughs> we were all like screaming our heads up. <laughs> Probably broke your, your speakers. Oh, 
another year, another Golden Star Award, all done. <laughs>